Hey guys, what's up? I just want to do a quick update here and show you what's been going on. Got a little bit of work done. I ran out of ideas for the house, so I've been working on some other stuff too, but I wanted to show it to you. One of the first things we did was go through and bone meal the grass. Give it some depth here. And did that along these and all down the the edges of the main road here that makes this look much nicer and we added the garden here which I think turned out pretty good uh, these trees kind of blend in a little so not sure about that but the flowers here I love the slats lines down And then ideally, I don't have one, but I would put a beacon here with it shining up through the roof there. Look cool. I might add it eventually. I'm the one who uses beacons for decorative purposes instead of actual um, mining for their effects. Funny. You can see we did all these grass through here too. Add some more flowers so that it has enough color. Put on into the house. I don't remember what all I had done last time, but I landscaping grass all the way around the house here too. Some extra little things like Steps in there, add the lanterns to keep mobs from spawning. This goes all the way around. They have had the rose bushes in last time, I'm not sure. I like the way the grass turned out. Then onto the inside. Much changed here. I modified these speakers a little bit. Thanks for the suggestion for somebody to add the buttons. Got the lamps done in the bedroom. I changed this a little. I can't remove that little section of a wall because there's stuff behind it. Uh, the carpet in this section is new. I hate this wall, but I had to add it in order to put in bathroom here. We now have a full bathroom. Shower. Of the towels. Functioning toilet. And our... Uh, Pink section here with the lighting. Unfortunately, there's a fire behind this wall. Hear it through it. We have a little lounge area here. Not sure why we can hear that fire so well. And a little desk. I might modify this. It looks kind of make it a little bit nicer. I attempted a grandfather clock. It's a Pillar behind it shows through, so still working on that. Through here, we got a nice little fireplace. This is where the sounds coming from. From that fish tank. Which, no matter what, I made this entire thing source blocks, and the fish still kind of bounce around in there. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they're supposed to do that. We have our little dining area here, kitchen, nothing changed there. Like I said, I don't know what I showed in the last bit. This here, oh, pretty good. And this is, I have no idea what to do with this area here. Balcony here. 
stairs. Same thing on the back side. Balconies are pretty blank. Not sure what to add on them. Lights up. Slowly working on removing all the torches. Then you got through here. I have these two rooms on here. On here, I'm not sure what to. Really loud. And then, um, out here, change some lighting a bit. And then I have an area down here which I made chanting cable, and I have no idea what to do with this space here. So, at a loss on those things. The other big change that I did was to the garage here. I moved the staircase that goes down to my old base, no longer under the tree out front. That was a big change. In fact, I've got a portal there now. Which, my portal's broken. It only links one way. I can take that and go exactly to where I want to go in the nether, but when I come back, it tends me to a random place. Really annoying. And then, uh, also added the water elevators to get up and down. Both ends of this. Very long, dark trip. I'll probably do something eventually to clean that up, make it look nicer, but now it's just functional. I'm thinking about turning this large cavern into actual farming, industrial stuff, the machines. Hey, a friend. Maybe a melon farm, or at least bamboo, possibly sugarcane. Use the bamboo for fuel now, which helps. Then a lot more sorting. All of this is done now. This is all landscaping stuff across the top. Wood. I need more cases of wood. I'm going to start breaking up types of trees. It's like coral, all terracotta, and then the glazed terracotta next to it. Mob drops. And a gravel. Wool. I know where everything is. It makes it easy. Working for me just needs a little bit more for some things. But yeah, lots of plans for down here coming. And I did the bubble elevators on both ends too, which is And the last major thing I've been working on is my uh, temporary slave internment camp. Oh, I redid this whole tunnel too. Now oh, it's it's finished and small. It goes straight out. It's made it a little bit smaller. It's not the big as it used to be. But it doesn't have that big turn in it anymore. And it actually goes out to the ocean now. Doing this while sitting in water is annoying. I lucked out, it's nighttime. I haven't done a lot with this yet, but I have my own little villager trading thing going on here. I don't have too terribly many good trades yet. I'm going to build them eventually. This could expand. The ceiling can even go up, but these can go out as far as I need them to. Well, exit thing here prevents them from escaping through my temporary but yeah put a lot of time into that getting them here part of the reason i redid the uh tunnel as well and in redoing that tunnel i also um put some time in the scary place it's not so scary anymore. I've lit up a little bit of it, but really amazed down here. 
of the different tunnels like every time this used to be the exterior wall and when I decided to expand move back and made this wall dark on the other lit up a little and then when I expanded out this way this became the wall and then I expanded again and this became the wall the last expansion to make my house moved it back to there but yeah all of these different walls segmented off down here make it into a really creepy maze hope I can go over it. The other side kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like down here. Plus, I built the suburbs over top of everything that existed. So, like, there's an entire forest down here. And uh, all sorts of stuff you can do with this area. I even considered making them their own little village down here. But I want Optifine so I can walk around with the torch in my hand kind of explore it's a very very scary place and there's lots of mobs which served the purpose the whole point was to have the mobs spawn down here and not up in the city and ever since i lit this little area up here i've been getting a ton of mob spawns up there so obviously it was working and then I broke it so i'd like to go back to having a place down here for mobs Ideally, though, I want to dig this out and make it uh, farther down. That way you can't hear them on the surface. A lot of work went into that, though. Except I still, to this day, try to go that way to go back up. I keep forgetting it's over here now. Oh, and I changed the back of the TV mount here. The stone from the wood. I think it looks better. Do it in something a little more colorful. They don't have uh, blocks and stairs of colors. Also got some mail. Cable bill. Property tax. And a fan mail to visit the shopping district. Just in case anybody ever looks in the mailbox. I actually considered shrinking that tower down about half for the fountain, but maybe not. It's all underground, which is why I need to move that underground down farther. That's a huge project. The alternative is to light it all up down there and then dig a cavern farther down. We've done a lot of work over here by the gas station. All filled in now. All leveled off. Guard managed to get this all leveled off and started building, but gone for the weekends. I'm coming over here for a reason. Farther than it looks. The city is starting to grow, though. We're starting to get bigger towers. Looks like he's starting to put in the second end of this building here. These are what I wanted to show you back here. I started showing you the throne, and that's exactly what that is. A chair to sit and watch. Roses glass building getting built here can't wait to see this done it really does look cool it's awesome at night to draw lights in the middle so it like lights up from the inside out very cool looking Oh, she got another floor done since I left last night. Oh, this one's even cooler with the. Oops, you can fall through those till they get the carpets on. It's like a spiral pattern. 
That's awesome. And then Psalm's Tower in the back there. See if I can make this jump. Oh, almost didn't. And I think the last new thing around here. Is the inside of this cool tower over here is getting completely turned into farms. I was picking on it originally because it was hollow. It's not hollow anymore. Very cool use of space. Anyway, that was a quick look at uh, what's been going on over the weekend. Didn't have a lot of time to do much, but wanted to show that off. Down here. I'm going to lose my back door when Rose finally finishes her building here because we're underneath it. And I think she wants to fill this all with water. And my sheep. My sheep have been having issues. For some reason, when I try to breed sheep, I end up losing more than I get. Like, all the adults disappear. Bye, guys. It happened once before, and they came and looked at it, and it's doing it again. So, no idea. Our water elevator back to the subway. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully we get to start laying some foundations for more houses in the suburbs.